To log into the eClinical system first enter your user ID and your password and then click the login button. At the top left corner you'll see three dashed button. Click that button, different options will be available, such as favorites. You can quick access any tabs by clicking the start icon right next to the tabs and it will show up in the favorites. Next, the ECW menu. The ECW menu has many options such as file, patient, schedule, EMR, billing, etc. The next option is practice. That has resource schedule and list of all providers and resources. On the top left corner, you'll see your initials. By clicking that you can access your profile, such as when you last logged in and log out option. If you want to change your profile information, you can click the gear icon in the top right corner. From here you can change your password, see your login and logout sessions. If you change anything click save, otherwise click cancel. This is patient lookup button. You can search for patient from here. These are quick launch buttons. This is slot duration. Refresh schedule. Single appointment. Appointment search. Block appointment, bump list, wait list, copy, paste, insurance eligibility. To check providers and resources schedule, go to practice. Resource schedule. This is resource scheduling. From the calendar, choose the desired month, year, and specific date. Below the calendar, you'll see the list of all the providers. You can choose one provider or all providers at the same time. Below that there are a list of all resources. To search a patient, go to Patient Lookup. Here, you can search patient by their last and first name. Or by their date of birth. When you'll enter a name for a patient, a list of similar patients' name will appear. Select your desired patient. You can access Patient Hub for that patient from the bottom right corner or you can simply just click on the patient name. This is Patient Hub. There are several tabs in the right side. Here you can find all the demographics information of that patient, including their contact number, account number, etc. On the right side you'll find insurance, PCP, default facility information. This is the billing information, here you can see all the billing information of the patient. For example, billing alerts, guarantor balance, account inquiry, billing logs. Below that this is the appointment information of that patient. Here you can see the last appointment, the next appointment and you also can make a new appointment for that patient. In the middle section, you'll see all the structured data of the patient. Next to that, you'll find Outstanding Tasks. This gives quick access of labs, referrals, telephone encounter, documents and others for that particular patient. These icons tell you anything that is outstanding for the patient and will change color based on whether the task is a high priority item or not. Below you'll find the Patient Hub buttons. From here you can access Progress Notes. Patients Documents. Actions that needs to take. New telephone encounter, medical summary, devices. Logs. Medical records, consult notes, letters, send messages. Problem list. Flow sheet. Print labels, messenger, eclinoforms, and data exchange. Click the green arrow to see other options like overview, history, CDSS which contains global alerts, allergies, etc. This is Hilo Insights. Hilo Insights allows payers and providers to exchange data safely. To make an appointment, go to Practice. Resource Scheduling. 
select the desired date from the calendar. Select the provider with whom you want to make the appointment. Click on the desired time. Search the patient by their last name. Select the desired patient and all alerts for the patient will appear, such as global alerts, consent alerts, billing alerts, and insurance alerts. Add any alerts if applicable then click OK. Check the data. Time, provider, resources to make sure everything is correct. Then select the visit type. Enter the reason for the visit. Check other information. Click OK. An appointment for that patient is created. If the patient has arrived, click on the appointment. Change the visit status to arrived. Click on the info button next to patient name. Verify the patient's all the demographic information. At the bottom, you'll see the insurance information. By clicking Add button you can add a new insurance. And if you want to update insurance information, click on the insurance, then update. Here, you can update any insurance information. Including additional information, benefits, and notes. To add a new insurance, click Add. Enter the name of the insurance. Some option will appear. Select the right one. General information of the insurance will be automatically filled up. For dental visit must check dental. You can check if the insurance is primary, secondary or tertiary. Enter subscriber number. Copays, patient relationship to insured. Group number. Medicaid ID number. And group name if applicable. Patient's alternate name. And. Insured alternate name if applicable. Add additional information, benefits, and notes if needed. Click OK to save. It will add the insurance to the system. From here, you can select fee schedule. You can create a new case. Run the eligibility check, sliding fee schedule. Check the self-pay if the patient is paying out of pocket. Click Save to save the information. If you want to check the treatment plan for the patient, click on the appointment. Click on the treatment plan at the bottom. Click the Treatment Plan tab. Click the Procedure. Then click the right arrow and it will pull open past treatment plan onto today's visit. You can delete procedures by clicking the trash icon. You can access procedures manually. Click the procedure code. It will show all the dental procedures. Check the procedure you want to add and then click the arrow. It will add the procedures for today's visit. You can mark any procedure as favorites by clicking the star icon in the left. And from here you can quick access those procedures. Click the Next tab if you want to check details of the treatment plan. Here, you'll see all the details of the treatment plan. You can select Priority. Save as New Treatment Plan. Add to Treatment Plan. Delete Procedures. Recalculate Fees and Override Fees. Note that deleting a procedure from appointment will not delete it from dental exam. 
Click Apply or OK. Click OK. Right click on the appointment. These are the shortcut keys. You can edit appointment, cut appointment, copy appointment. Create copy for family, also can create a family booking, cancel all appointments for this day. Reschedule appointments, bump appointments. Set global alerts. View progress notes. Dental. View billing summary, and others. And also can check eligibility, letters, and delete the appointment. Here, you can access patients' progress notes in an easy way. Click View Progress Notes. Under Objectives, click Dental Examination Slash Plan. You'll see all the procedural information and their status. Click on the procedure you want to complete. Progress notes are very important for procedures. You can click on the timestamp for easy access for the time format. Then type the procedure notes. After writing the note, check the entry status completed. Click Update. These C icon means the treatment has completed. And these TP icon means treatment has not completed yet. Click the arrow sign in the middle corner. You can select procedures for the treatment from here. Type the procedure code. Then click the procedure. And it will add the procedure to the treatment of the patient. To check out a patient, go to Practice, Resource Scheduling. Click on the appointment. Check the treatment plan for fees or copays. Then go to Visit Status and select Checkout option. You can check the charge details before checking out the patient. Click OK and it will check out the patient. To create a new patient, go to Patient Lookup. Click on the New Patient tab. Enter patient's last name, first name, date of birth. You can manually type the date of birth or select the date from the calendar. Sexual identity. Social security number. Previous or preferred name if applicable. Enter the address of the patient. Enter the city. Enter the zip code. Then enter the contact number. After that enter emergency contact. Enter responsible party. Enter account information if needed. Enter email address. If they have any insurance, add their insurance. If the patient is self-pay, check the self-pay box. Add PCP, referring provider. Marital status. Language. Race. Birth of order, release of info. Rx history consent and other additional information if provided. When finished, click Save. And the new patient will be added in the system. Then click Cancel to return to the resource schedule. 